Hi there everyone, this is XX Pokemon 1 Petition and today I'm gonna teach you how to go on a real Pokemon adventure in the real world. As you know, unfortunately, there are neither no Pokemons or Pokeballs in real life. Although there are certain things you can do that are most credible and similar to a Pokemon encounter experience. Here are some steps to begin your Pokemon adventure. Step 1. You need some tools. You cannot be a Pokemon trainer if you don't have your Pokedex. Buy an encyclopedia. Can be a printed or an electronic one. This is far the most similar option. Or download some pages of Wikipedia about different types of wild animals and plants that live within your region, state or country. Grab also a real Pokedex, can be printed one too, that explains everything about the Pokemons. Step 2. Grab some comfortable clothes according to the weather. Don't walk around in your pyjama as Ash did in the first episode of the anime series. People will think you're crazy, and even more if they discover you are on a Pokemon adventure. Step 3. If you still are a minor, you can go with your parents on this adventure. If you don't want them to go with you, you can play in your neighborhood alone or with your friends. You are the one who chooses to be either a lonely trainer like Red or a friendly one like Ash. Step 4. As you go on your adventure and find some animals and plants, take a picture of them and go check your encyclopedia for the definition of this specimen. You can also take note of the date, what it is doing, if an animal, specific time and specific location you found it. When you get home, Search for some photoshopped real Pokemon on the net that are similar to the animals and plants you saw. If you don't find any, don't be sad and print a Pokemon picture. Grab the image, print it on your journal with the optional data and the photo you have taken. Then write down below the real photo the definition and data of the animal and below the photoshopped or picture the data of that specific Pokemon. Additional notes. If you are an adult and financially active, you can go on an even more realistic Pokemon adventure by traveling to Japan and staying there a few nights. The Pokemon regions were based on real geographic Japanese locations and the most famous region of Japan is called Kanto, or in Japanese as they say, Kento. Check on the description below for the link with the locations. You can also take some pictures of buildings, food, geographical regions or even some objects that are similar either to Pokemons or places within the Pokemon games. Why not trying and go to the zoo, aka Safari Zone. You can meet there some pretty awesome animals too. And if you live in a metropolitan zone, this is the ideal alternative. Try also using your bike or public transportation. Did you know? There are some job careers that you can take on which are similar to being a Pokemon trainer. For example, pet taming, scientist, biologist, wildlife protector, geologist or even wildlife photographer. Hope you enjoy your adventure and catch as many Pokemons as you can to be a master. Gotta catch them all. See you soon.